Hey everyone, Tom the Dilettante here, and welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Thursday, where I try to take no more than 3 minutes to address one or two questions that you've asked. Today I want to share my answer to the question, how bad is your gas mileage affected when you modify a Crosstrek? So let's get started. Last month I chalked up over 3,000 miles driving from Chicago to Utah and back to do some overlanding and exploring that beautiful state. And during that trip, I measured my fuel economy using the odometer and the fuel economy tracker on my dash. And at each state line, I reset the trip meter to track my mileage and fuel economy through that state. Now, stock, my 2019 Crosstrek Premium with the 2.0 and the CVT is supposed to get 27 miles per gallon city, 33 on the highway, and a combined 29. My Crosstrek isn't exactly stock. With a 2.5 inch lift, 225, 75, 15 all terrains, steel bumper, winch, skid plates, gas and water tanks, a rooftop tent, and enough gear and tools inside to sustain me for an eight day overland trip, my little battle wagon was quite the pig and about as aerodynamic as a brick. So that being said, what was my fuel economy like on this trip? Here's the breakdown of the states. The first 800 miles or so took me through Illinois, Iowa, and Nebraska, which are all pretty flat and open. I had a pretty steady headwind heading east, especially through Nebraska, but as you can see, I maintained a little over 22 miles per gallon on average through those states. Colorado and Utah actually surprised me. Being the more mountainy states, I expected my fuel economy to be worse. But the opposite was actually true, with my eastbound Colorado drive giving me the best fuel economy of the trip at 25.7 miles per gallon. I guess I'll chalk that up to long stretches of downhill where gravity was doing most of the work, even though on some of the uphill stretches my miles per gallon was hitting the low teens. Overall, for the whole trip, my weighted average fuel economy was 22.9 miles per gallon. Considering my driving was mostly on the highway, let's compare that to the manufacturer's claim of 33 miles per gallon as my expectation. Comparing those two numbers, that's a 30% decrease in fuel economy compared to Subaru's claims. Let's look at it another way. The average cost of gas as of this video is $3.07 per gallon. If I had gotten the advertised 33 miles per gallon, my trip would have cost me 9 cents a mile. Instead, at my average of 22.9 miles per gallon, it cost me 13 cents per mile. What does this mean? It means I paid almost $130 more in gas, presumably just because of the mods I've made and the equipment I was carrying. Now, looking at these numbers, I want you to keep another thing in mind. I did not have a lead foot on this trip. On the highway, I kept pretty much to the posted speed limit, plus or minus 5 miles per hour. The faster you go, the more drag you're going to have to overcome, and the harder your engine's going to work. So, you can expect your fuel economy to decrease exponentially if you're driving like a bat out of hell. Now at the end of the day, your results might vary, so I encourage you to take my observations and compare them to your observations to kind of back calculate what you might expect if you made mods like me. The appetite for mod induced fuel economy losses is going to vary from person to person. I for one don't mind getting 22 to 23 miles per gallon on a fully laden rig. As a matter of fact, it's about what I was expecting. And for me, the extra 4 cents per mile cost is worth the joy of customizing and playing with my Subi. So that's it. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Let me know what kind of gas mileage you're getting in the comments below. Modded or not, has what I've shared with you today encouraged or discouraged you from doing similar mods to your car? Thank you for watching, and until the next time, this is Tom the Dilettante saying happy tinkering. Have a good one.